You are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel for new story. Story title, One Eye, Two Eyes, and Three Eyes. Once upon a time, there lived a woman who had three daughters. The eldest was called One Eye because she had only one eye in the middle of her forehead. The middle child was called Two Eyes because she had two eyes like any ordinary person. And the youngest was called Three Eyes because, aside from two normal eyes, she had a third eye in the middle of her forehead. However, because Two Eyes looked just like any ordinary person, her mother and sisters detested her. They would tell her, you with your two eyes are no better than anyone else. You don't belong in our family. Thus, they ordered her about, gave her only tattered clothes to wear, fed her their leftover scraps, and found ways to torment her. One day, after being given very little to eat, Two Eyes was sent to tend the sheep with an empty stomach. She sat on a ridge, crying so bitterly that her tears flowed like two little streams. Amid her sorrow, she looked up to find a woman standing beside her, a witch in disguise. The woman asked, Why do you cry, Two Eyes? How can I not cry? Two Eyes responded, being like any other person with two eyes, my mother and sisters despise me. They shove me from corner to corner, give me only rags to wear, and feed me their leftovers. Today, they gave me so little, I am extremely hungry. The witch comforted her, dear two eyes, wipe away your tears. Let me teach you a spell that will ensure you never go hungry again. Just say to your little goat, oh little goat, bleat, bleat. My little table, I wish to eat. A table will appear before you covered with a clean cloth and laden with delicious food. You may eat as much as you wish. When you're done, simply say, Dear little goat, bleat, bleat. My little table, please retreat, and the table will disappear. With these words, the witch vanished. Two eyes thought, I must try this immediately. I am so hungry. Following the witch's instructions, she said the spell, and a small table with a white cloth appeared, bearing hot, steaming dishes as if freshly served from the kitchen. After thanking the heavens for her meal, Two Eyes sent the table away as instructed. The days followed in bliss for her, no longer touched by hunger. However, her sisters grew suspicious of her untouched leftovers and decided to spy on her. One Eye, following Two Eyes into the field under the pretense of ensuring the sheep were well tended, soon fell asleep to Two Eyes' repetitive song. Unnoticed, Two Eyes conjured the magical table and ate. Upon returning, One Eye could not explain why she had no appetite, maintaining her ignorance. Determined to uncover the truth, the mother sent three eyes with two eyes the next day. Despite a similar trick, two eyes mistakenly adjusted her song, allowing three eyes third eye to observe everything while pretending to sleep. Upon learning of the magical goat in table, the mother, fueled by jealousy, killed the goat. Distraught, two eyes wept bitterly until the witch reappeared, offering solace and advising her to bury the goat's entrails. Overnight, from the remains grew a splendid tree with silver leaves and golden apples a sight so magnificent yet unreachable by her family, but not by two eyes. One day, a young prince, drawn by the tree's fame, arrived. Despite the sister's attempts to hide two eyes, golden apples rolling from her hiding place revealed her. Struck by her beauty and the ease with which she harvested the tree, the prince offered to take her away from her suffering. In his kingdom, two eyes was welcomed with open arms, dressed in fine clothes, and ate her fill. The prince, enamored, married her, and they celebrated a grand wedding. Meanwhile, the magical tree vanished from the sister's home, reappearing in Two Eyes' new residence, a symbol of her fortune. Regretful and impoverished, One Eye and Three Eyes sought alms at their sister's castle, not recognizing it as her new home. Two Eyes, recognizing them, welcomed her sisters with warmth and kindness, a gesture that melted their hearts and filled them with remorse for their past cruelty. In this new chapter, the sisters found forgiveness and redemption as Two Eyes shared her fortune and happiness with them, proving that kindness and love could heal the deepest wounds and bridge the widest divides. And so, Two Eyes lived a life rich with joy, love, and the magical legacy of a little goat that had once ensured her survival. Her story, a testament to resilience and forgiveness, was told for generations, inspiring all who heard it to seek the magic and kindness and the power in a pure heart. If you like this story, please give this video a like and comment below with your thoughts. See you in the next story.